A lot of us take vitamins and we assume that they can only do good. But vitamins are like a drug. They have biological effects and it's not really necessarily true that they have no harms or risks. Two studies out this week showed some potential risks of vitamins. One found that older women taking multivitamins were actually at a slightly higher increased risk of dying. Uh, so the study is not proof that vitamins are harmful, but it does suggest that you might want to consider the safety of things that you're taking and whether it's really necessary. A second study found that men taking vitamin E in high doses and supplements were more likely to develop prostate cancer. And this is a great concern because the study was actually testing vitamin E to see if it could prevent prostate cancer, and doctors found the opposite effect. People should really think about whether they are eating a healthy diet and whether they need additional nutrients. The trouble is you don't realize how many vitamins are already in the foods we're getting. Even junk foods are fortified these days. There's extra calcium and D and orange juice. There's extra everything and, and things that are glorified cookies that are being pumped up with nutrients to make them seem more healthful. So we're actually getting a lot more than you might think you are when you eat some of these products. So our intakes could exceed the recommended level quite easily if you take additional vitamins. Well, people are saying you should talk with your doctor. Some people do need additional vitamins, but these are really a narrow group of people. Uh, people over 50 might want to consider B12. Some of us after age 50 don't make enough stomach acid to actually de pull out the B12 that's in the food that we are eating. Pregnant women needs, need extra iron and extra folate to prevent birth defects. Uh, older people might need additional nutrients, um, but it also can be risky for some people to take things uh, when they're taking other medicines. Mm -hmm. Vitamins can interact with heart medicines. The government has plenty of advice out there on how to eat right. We just need to do it.